at the KOA campground. It's people just getting up. That's our campmates. We probably made them mad. They'd move their tent. Uh, a lot of Toyotas around here. A lot of special editions too, trail teams. Our first run is at 7 something a.m. in the morning. We're supposed to be there half an hour early. So I'm going to take some more film once we get to the site. To Silverton, um, which is a small mining town. Is everybody full now? Yeah. We're three yes. okay. yeah, you're good. I think they're probably gas in Lake City, too. So. Yeah. Um, has anybody never off roaded in their entire life before? Awesome. Wow, we've <laughs> got a ton of news. Excellent. If at any time you feel uncomfortable or stressed about anything, I want you guys to feel comfortable to use these handheld radios that we're going to give you. Communicate. We're here to make your guys' day enjoyable and most importantly, fun. Yeah. Woo! Alright, this is uh, Alpine Loop 615. It is Thursday morning. This is our first trail run of the visit. We are, uh, I never got a chance to profile the last truck in our group. I rolled the window. The truck behind us, if you want to pan backwards. That is our 2014 FJ. It's got the off-road package. Um, you know, the nice thing is I'm using a stock 4Runner and Corey behind me is using a stock FJ Cruiser. We could have done a couple ARB accessories, some old man emu lifts and stuff like that, but honestly for our first time we thought it might be more fun uh, to do this trip with stock equipment and actually show some of our customers uh, what a chance, what, what would happen if you brought a stock truck with you. Yeah, the guys in front of us just panned to, that guy's all geared out, it's got the uh, spacers, it's got the jerry cans, it's got the lift. Um, He's ready to go for a long trip, more so than I think the Alpine Loop is going to offer him. So we'll take some awesome video when we get. Uh, watch where you're driving. No, <laughs> the camera. <laughs> um, we're headed up right now, so this is 6:33 in the morning, and we are the first run of the day, which I think that's where you want to be. We're not going to get bottled up, hopefully, with traffic, and we are looking down at beautiful Ure, Colorado. Air down. Alpine Loop, we're getting started. There's Corey. Man. Oh, crack if you think I can hold this still. comes a great white turtle. I always thought he was my boss. <laughs> Go ahead, Eric. Why isn't he driving? That way? Uh, Eric went that way and had no problems at all. But he started sooner than you, I might add. The lady got stuck that went that way.
That's the same place she got stuck. Come on, Mike, make it look good for us. Show the kids how it's done. Don't hit me, though. <laughs> On our way down, stock truck, no problem. Actually, the uh, tour guide was admiring how well that truck has performed. Same thing here. I didn't even use the features. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, he might be. I'll have to get him for you. I was doing a video before you interrupted me. <laughs> uh, coming down seems to be harder than going up. I, I actually, you gotta watch yourself. Going up, you're, you're more conscious of the boulders and stuff like that, going down, you seem a little more, uh, a little more at speed. You don't think much about it. Anybody can drive. Even little girls, <laughs> princesses. Uh, for any women who might want to come? Oh yeah, we're a jug bra. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, apparently that's an issue. I, I don't need a jug bra, thank God. Are you sure? <laughs> add it, add it. That'll go oh. in the unedited version. Dust. Yeah, this sucks. It's terrible. It's not pretty at all. It is gorgeous. July in Colorado. Day two, FJ Summit 2014. So we're being led by the guys uh, from 
Oh shoot, I can't remember their name. He's a great leader. Uh, anyway. Now Grand Junction, Colorado, there's a big uh, Toyota shop that works on old Toyotas. And Safari Limited, that's their name. So the guys who are leading our trail today, they're from Safari Limited. Yesterday was total chaos, uh, long travel suspension. Cool thing about them, they brought, we had our own um, walkie-talkies. Today we gotta use a CB, so that groaning here in the background is our CB. Um, we are just now hitting the trails at 6.56 in the morning. And uh, hopefully we've got some cool stuff. We're doing Imogene Pass, which is gonna be high elevation. Should see lots of snow. Uh, right now we're still low, obviously. Hey, fellow. Um, super scenic. Important things to keep in mind is pay attention. Uh, don't get sidetracked and drive off, uh, both off the road or onto tundra or anything like that. Very high use area, so um, the, the terrain takes a lot of beating from vehicles every day, every hour. Um, so we really want to be careful about um, our impact with the vehicles. We're trying to stay on the previously used road uh, areas, try not to ghost road, that kind of thing. Uh, meaning making a new way to go uh, up the mountainside. Imogene Pass, first fun spot. Bag and porn. All right, I'm coming this way. Now tell me if I need to move. truck. New nickname for the boss, by the way, Hot Taco. We're all entertained by that one. He just likes to make it look easy. A lot of stock Toyotas on today's drive. No gear added. One guy said he just bought his. Vendors. May not look like it, but that's the straight up and down wall almost. They're having to come down. Wet brakes is all you're hearing there. I hear Sandy going, oh boy! <laughs> right, you have no idea how awesome the shot is with the mountain in the background. Yeah. Smile and look cute, Mr. Service Manager.
They just cleared these avalanche no this year. Great white tortoise made it through. Trail control with Corey Miller. I'm Corey Miller and I approve this trail. <laughs> There's the pass, Imogene Pass. See, that just means you won't put it in. <laughs> Imogene. tortoise and the river. Hot taco behind Had us. to get it in, didn't you? That's the, tur the turtle. The fearless guide. a good spot to talk. Imogene Pass, day two. Cool thing about this, a lot more stops or scenery than you might think. Alpine Loop, did a lot of driving, not a lot to see. The guide's been totally cool about letting us stop and see something like this. So it's not just four-wheeling, it's four-wheeling and plenty of scenery too. Taco, making it look easy.
Hey, Eric. What? I want a snow cone. Can I have one? They're Reach over there and give me some snow. Brown snow. <laughs> Better than yellow snow. Oh. You hungry? Amazing. <laughs> Imogene Pass, as you can see, there's a lot of stock trucks here with us today. There are a few that got some extra stuff, but even the truck we're looking at right there, pretty stock. There's a guy who just showed up with a new 14 trail team. Having a blast. Actually walked up the top of that hill. I don't know if that was a 14 or not. Uh, if my wife took a video, you probably couldn't hear anything because it's all windblown. Epic view. White side at the top of the world. Feel like it. So it's not the top of the world, but it feels like it. Eugene Pass, we're not at the uh, pass yet, but we're at a nice stopping point. So there's a little trail up here at the top of the hill. I thought it might be man enough to go up it. Hiking. We've hiked up plenty of hills, but you can see so much more when you drive something like this. So my wife says that that's not the purest way to do it. And yeah, I agree. Of course, you'd say a horse is a better way to do it. But it would take you all day. We're going to see views like this several times a day because we drove. And we were trail conscious. We were clean, followed all the lines. Alright, we're going to take some pictures with our trucks. Our fearless trail leaders. <laughs> Hot taco coming down off the mountain pass. Thirteen thousand four hundred. The great white tortoise. Fearless. Meet the great white tortoise. <laughs> Behind ya.
other side. The ultimate cameraman. Every time you see us climbing somewhere, she's had to like stand there and take a video. And then she runs up in high altitude. <laughs> Outside line's the best. He tried to go. campsite last day it's black bear pass so a little nervous uh, we'll take some videos up there it's gonna be a lot of cutbacks uh, looking out over at telluride or ooh, right telluride yeah it's gonna be pretty cool uh, but i would be lying if i didn't say just a, a bit nervous so we'll see how this goes black bear pass we're sharing the road with bikers go go Even the bikers are polite in Colorado. They say thanks. I don't know if you get that in Chicago. They'd probably give you the finger. Spray paint your car with gang symbols. <laughs> no, not... Making room. Woo! Nice job! job. It's a gorgeous day for a bike race. I, these guys are coming up the pass, and we're, you know, it's a one-way trail for cars, but for bikes, they, these guys must have climbed the pass on the other side, which had to be a nightmare. And then this is nice easy. Job. Nice job! Nice job! Dude!
hot taco. Until something goes wrong, okay? Does that sound fair? Because I don't have to spot you. If you're confident, comfortable and confident, that's fine with me. Okay? So but if you want a spot, it's thumbs up, right? When I look you straight in the face. But always watch me after that if you give me a thumbs up. Okay? Um you know, this is a section, no matter how comfortable you are, you really should have two hands on the wheels, right? On the driving wheel, okay? None of this laid back, one-handed stuff. It really doesn't lend itself to something. If your tire gets jerked one way or another, this is not a place to really screw up, okay? So my signals, my hand signals, of course, stop, or one hand stop, okay? If I'm pointing in a direction and moving this way, as long as my finger points that direction, that's where your tire stays, okay? You keep, you turn towards that direction, and if I'm pointing, you keep turning until I come back to here, and I'm still doing this. And you leave your tire in that position until I point the other direction, or give you a hand signal to straighten out. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is slow. Okay, come forward but slow. Okay, if I point to your wheel, this wheel, that wheel, and I go like this, you're gonna drop, drop, or up. Okay, to give you an indication of what's going on. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics. I mean, we get into some other finer stuff if we're doing harder, more technical stuff, but. Um, that's usually just the basic stuff that I use. Right on. So stop, come forward, come forward, turn, 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 parallel, go back to straight, go the other direction. Usually it's, you know, but if I go here, come back here, and I'm not pointing the direction, you just keep holding the wheel in that direction I pointed to. Or I point you the other direction, right? Okay. So most of these lifted vehicles are fine. Um, you might bang a little bit in the center, but that's nothing to worry. Most of you guys look like you're armored. Who's not armored in the center? I'll notice that. that ridge to the right. You're good, you're good, you're good. 
To the right! To the right! Plenty of spotters to help out. Make this look easy. to be walking. Kids are having fun also. How long you guys been here? Uh, up a week. Been out on the trails almost every day? Yeah. This little guy right here went with us the first day. Yeah. How many trails have you done? <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, how many trails have you done? I did three and he did three. You, you did the Alpine Loop. Yeah. What else did you do? Uh, Song Thing and Black Bear. I did right. Black Bear. Wait, I did Black Bear, Amazon. Oh yeah, I did Amazon, Black Bear, and Dolphiner um, and the Yankee Boy. Which ones have been your favorites? Governor? Governor? Black Bear, the it says on the signs of Dr. Road, I want to adopt the road right there for the governor. So uh, are you guys having fun? Yeah. How old are you? Nine. Nine. See? You can bring kids and they'll have a ball. Thanks. That close to I can't page. have no choice here. sure I got some sheer close. Oh yeah. They want to know if you're close to the edge? You're close to the edge. If you fall, you only got that far to go. Get out and look at it. Have you had here in a while? I might love here the KOA desk and I got eyes. Are you alright to drive? Yeah, Pay attention to the speed limit. I have to know where it's at. Idiot. Tent? Try the tent first, Corey. I bet you took it out to take a nap. Recognize that truck. Was there? Yeah, that's what the neighbor came down yeah. for. Maybe you should go out there. Don't make that boy or anybody. No one likes him anyway, so. I guess huh? they don't talk very highly of him. That's uh, just Corey. <laughs> Is that the neighbor's vehicle, isn't it? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
All right, let's do a final wrap up. I just finished the FJ Summit. I'm back in Illinois. I'm shaved. I'm cleaned up, ready for work again. I was getting a little rustic there. I even took a flannel shirt out to Colorado so I'd look like one of the natives. Uh, but I didn't have to wear it. It was too nice. Um, let's go, I'm going to go over the car and we're going to talk about a few things. And if it's your first time going out to the summit, I think we, we, you need to know the conditions your vehicle is going to be put through. You saw a bunch of it in the video. Um, and you're going to see some videos coming out depending on when you see this video. Uh, but I want you to see the condition of my vehicle after we did the trip. There she is. I didn't even wash it after I came back. There was an option to uh, get it washed when we were out there in Ure, but there was quite a line. The uh, Ure Fire Department was nice enough to be supplying that uh, facility. But uh, here you go. Let's get up close. One, you'll notice the running boards are gone. I, I took the running boards off at the last minute before we left. Um, the owner who had been out there before suggested you probably going to want more clearance. I don't know that I would have touched. There was a few spots. Actually, I think maybe only one spot where I touched the bottom middle of the vehicle. Uh, but nothing on the outside surface was ever damaged. So that's pretty clean. One thing that was damaged, and uh, I don't know if it's just the condition of the tires. We, we knew these tires were older when we brought the vehicle out. And if you have low tolerance for this type of thing, this might be something to keep you away from an event like this. But when you lower the tires down to 20 PSI, and let's focus in there if we can there, little guy. I think we got it. You can see there's there's a crack that's developed all the way around. Now, I'm not saying these tires were the greatest tires when it came in, and we knew that this might be an issue, uh, but these tires were definitely damaged. These tires were definitely damaged by the uh, the trails and everything out there. All four tires show similar wear. Uh, when we were out back on the road, we, I actually traveling out there, I put the tires at 50 PSI, and then when we came back and put went back on the trails, I put them down to 20. Uh, probably could have put them down a little bit further for the better ride on the washboard roads, but, but 20 seemed to have good control and it didn't feel like a mushy ride. Um, you really do notice a big difference in the ride. It just, just drops down to a big mush ball. I applied my sticker. I love my stickers. Other things to look at here on this guy. Mud, dirt, debris everywhere. As you can see, it's everywhere. Brandon, my detail guy, is going to kill me on this one, but uh, sorry, dude. It was just too nice. And you'll see, actually, all the videos we took, we had our hands hanging out the window um, with this camera. We, it was all in the name of photography. Sorry, bud. Lastly, scratches. If you have no... If you have no tolerance for scratches on your vehicle, I don't recommend you go on this trip. There were a few times we were up against trees, uh, not so much rocks or anything like that, but the trees and the branches were hanging out. I'm going to go through some of these. They're going to buff out. I didn't see anything that was that horrible. See some right there. I mean, it's a pretty good scratch, so if you have a new car, and there were some guys out there with new cars who were a week old, um, if you have no tolerance for this, then I definitely wouldn't take your truck. But all in all, this is a stock vehicle that went up to 13,500 feet and uh, did everything that the guys with the super suspension, the super engine, super everything on there had. Uh, the skid plate got a little ding. I don't think you can really tell, honestly, unless you know you look at the, you can see a little bend there in the middle. Uh, we did lift it up when I got back and for the most part, other than a few scratches, there's nothing wrong in this, especially the rest of the vehicle. That skid plate there is the worst of anything you're going to see on it. I think that's everything. Uh, it was a great trip, and I'm definitely going to... I mean, the plan is to go back next year, you know, sure of anything else changing. Also, the plan is to bring this truck back, I think, um, just, just for fun. We're probably going to put some bigger tires on it. We may modify the suspension. It does have the kinetic suspension, so we're in investigating what the options are on that. I never use the kinetic suspension. You can't use it with the uh, A-Track, the traction control system that Toyota has on there, which honestly, when you're driving in those kind of rocks and crevices and stuff, it was more preferred, and I didn't have enough vehicle sway that I was so worried about the stability or anything like that. Um, so I think this truck's gonna be great. Take back out next year and see how it performs. Um, this is a, a phenomenal truck, and if you have the option to get a 4Runner, uh, even for daily driving, I tell you what, on the interstate, I, 
<laughs> it was as good as driving a camera or anything else. Uh, and put the tires up a little bit higher on the pressure and the fuel economy is even good. I, I drive a Tundra normally. Let me tell you, this Tundra couldn't even touch the fuel economy this truck was getting. So, uh, totally enjoyable. Highly recommend it. Hope to see you next year at the FJ Summit. Uh, this is Eric from Forts Toyota in Pekin. We'll see you next year.